the animated positioned widget. We create a boolean selected set as false to start. Then inside a sized box, we will define the width and the height, which is 200 and 350. The child will be a stack widget with multiple widgets inside. The first one is the animated positioned. The width will be if it's currently selected, then it's 200, otherwise it will be 50. And we will do the same thing for the height and the top. If it's selected, then it's a value, otherwise it's another value. The duration of the animation will be 2 seconds, the curve will be fast out, slow in, and the child will be a gesture detector. When we tap on it, this will set state and say that the selected is equal to the reverse of the selected. If it's currently through, then it will be false. And if it's false, then it will be through. The child of the gesture detector is a simple container with a box decoration orange and the border radius circular 25. And every time you press on the container, this will animate the width, the height, the top of the animated positioned. So the position of the widget will be animated.